What's going on, guys? Welcome to the draft where we would have a play set of weather lights. Actually, we might just we might I think we actually have a play set of weather lights with this one. This is our fifth weather light. I have drafted five weather lights. So we've opened five weather lights. Zero Karns. <laughs> Zero Teferis. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, I, I'd like to force uh, Blue Red Wizards, but I think Weatherlight is just much stronger. It's a 4-5 flyer for four. Uh, very hard to pass a Weatherlight. It's also colorless, so it doesn't commit us to anything. And, um, I mean, I, I assume at some point you guys are going to get tired of me bemoaning Karns and Teferis, but I, I guarantee you, you are no in nowhere near as tired of me not opening them. So... Yeah, four color colorless mythic. Or four mana colorless mythic. Not the right one, though. It's comical. It's actually comical at this point. I have five of these. And literally haven't opened any of the other top three money cards. It's, it's I, I don't even know that. What are the odds of that, statistically speaking? I don't get it. LaFof, what's going on, buddy? It's just Sapperling Migration here. I feel like it's got to be Sapperling Migration. Tiana, Ship's Caretaker, who can crew the Weatherlight. Buddy opened three refs in one day. What is ref? I like Pegasus Courser here. I also just like Tiana. At least Pegasus Courser lets us play um, green-white, whereas Tiana just forces us to play red-white. Oh, Tefs. That's much different. Tefs and refs. I actually, I like Corsair more than I like Tiana. I mean, to, to think we won't have enough creatures to crew this is pretty low. Legendary human wizard raisin. That's <laughs> good times. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to take Corsair. Um, this pack is actual terrible. I'm going to take the glider just because it triggers the weather light. It's something we can hit off Weatherlight. Tetsuko Umizawa also, tets yeah, also pretty sweet. And we could forgo one of these colors. Actually, Sapperling Migration and Tetsuko is pretty good. I'm going to take the Tetsuko here. Now, oh, Eviscerate. This is Eviscerate and a Call from the Cavalry pack? Come on. Not Call from the Cavalry. Call the Cavalry. Why no Cabal Kaladin? Paladin? Cabal Kal Paladin's pretty terrible. How did the Saf match go? We crushed. Absolutely crushed with... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to take this because I don't think we're going to be black. I'm much more eager to take these white cards. Especially with Tetsuko. Like, these extra 1-1s one are unblockable. Maybe we splash Sappy Migration. Eh, all right. So everyone's just going to pass the white cards because John Finkel said white's not good, I guess. Sylvan Awakening? That is a late Sylvan Awakening. What's your record in drafts where you draft Weatherlight? Um, I have no idea. That is a very specific question. I mean, I, so about the Eviscerate pack, I'd rather just take... We already have a very good white card. I'd rather just take another very good white card than take a black card, which is our which would be our fourth color at that time. What is this, dude? I mean, we could splash blue just for this guy, but I don't know if it's worth it as of right now. Eh, you're terrible.
I agree. I think white's great, but what can you do? Oh yeah, if we open a Tatiova, it's 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 significantly more likely that we'll uh that will splash the blue for sure. More like weather heavy, am I right? I don't think he, I don't I don't think that's correct. Hey, a Nabin. Hey, a Seal Away. Seal Away is pretty good. I'll take the Seal Away. Pretty easy pick. Lyra, please. <laughs> if we got a Teferi, I'd also splash blue. But come on. <laughs> let's let's be realistic. That's like saying if there was a Rolls Royce out in my driveway, I'd drive it. Fictions, my friend. Fictions. That's not to say I can't just afford a Rolls Royce with my sweet, sweet stream money, but, you know, I like to keep a lower profile. Shivan Fire, Memorial Glory, Davant Trapper. This pack's not too good. I like Jousting Lance a little bit more than I like Second Trapper here. It also is good with Weatherlight. And it's good with the first trapper we have. And it's good with sapperlings. Sappy boys. I actually don't mind if this nature spiral comes back. What are these links you guys post? You guys are the strangest. What is this? Treasure Planet Silver Speech to Jim? What is this? What's What are you guys doing? Are you familiar with the Monte Carlo fallacy? Um, I don't think so, actually. Let's hear it. I'm curious. Ooh. Ooh, boy. And a Shauna and a Blessed Light. Crying out loud, man. 100% this guy. That's gas, dude. This is a Got Good Dad stream? Okay, well. You would take Shauna over Territorial Allosaur? Ambitious. For one, Shauna's an uncommon, so she's very likely to come back. Or not come back, but like we're, we're more likely to see another Shauna than we are another Territorial Allosaur. For two, this guy's just a 5-5 five, five for four or a removal spell. Or both, rather. Uh, actually, Girl from the Ashes, because if we do splash something... I, there's another Memorial to Glory, but odds are one of these Memorial to Glories will come back. Uh, oh, it's the Gambler's Fallacy. Yeah, of course. I definitely, yeah, if you called it the Gambler's Fallacy, I would have much more familiar. Yeah, it's, 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 it's where you say, hey, look, I've lost this many times. I'm bound to win in the future. Because you're like, owed. See, exactly. This is why we take. And there's another Blessed Light in this pack? Crying out loud. I think we're more likely to see Blessed Lights, too. I think it's actually Shauna. Shauna's very good. And we're looking like tokens.
Yeah, it's like I mean, it's when it's like when people say, "Hey, I'm bound to open a Teferi because I haven't yet, right? I'm due to open it." But the the results are still random, right? Like you you have the same odds of opening it as you did in the first fifty drafts you you did, which is, you know, something I guess. There's a Baird. Also gets found with the weather light, but he can't crew the weather light, unfortunately. Our deck's looking good. It's looking it's looking like our deck from yesterday, only we don't have the songs and we don't have the wild uh wild onslaught, but we do have Sylvan Awakening Territory, Allosaur, and Weatherlight, which are good substitutes. I don't like Memorial to Unity at all. I'll probably take it. Like there's some meme value in taking the Liches the Liches Mastery because oh, Invoke and a Broken Bond. Nice. I think Invoke is just the better card. There's some meme value in taking the Lich's Mastery just so I can have all the Lich's Masteries. And then I have a collection of Lich's Masteries that I've only opened. I've never purchased any. Um, but there's a minor chance we just put Memorial in our deck just for funsies. Is it just creatures and not artifacts either? That's so weird. I, I've seen everyone. I've, everyone who's ever cast that has whiffed. It's going to be second grow from Ashes. Just because we have a lot of like... Two lands when we have Sylvan Awakening in hand is pretty good. And it's basically just like... Uh, we have we dropped a few frames, but not, not a ton. So if you're lagging, I would recommend just restarting, probably. Not restarting, refreshing. <sighs> Land where Scout's moderately playable... It's not good. Grow to fix for the incoming Karn. That makes sense. I see what you did there. Like, this is a deck that definitely doesn't mind having multiple grows in it because that's just two more tutus at some point. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank first and foremost my parents, my mom and dad. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone at the Academy who made this moment possible. Um, you know, it's very it's a, it's a it's a heartwarming moment for me. Uh, it's a day I never thought I'd see, you know, it's uh it's it's when you're a child, you dream of these days. Um when 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 you're young and you you hope one day to aspire to this position where you can actually you know open the car and, and put it in your pack and uh you know here we are so everyone thank you so much i'd like to thank you for for all this for all the love and support um without you i'd be nothing and uh thank you guys very much appreciate it oh yeah i was like i was like let me make sure i reserve this guy I make sure I, I pull it into the pack before Magic Online does. This is also very strong. And I'd be actually tempted to splash this to Double Girl from the Ashes. I like Spore Crown Thalib, though. Wow. Whew. Wow. What a time to be alive, guys. What a time to be alive. I don't think I actually know what else was in that pack, so. It only took you four. No, it's definitely not foil. That would be sick, though. That would be sick. It's one of these two. I actually don't know which one it is. We only have Sapperling Migration to go with the Sapperlings. I think it actually might be this. We have Double Growth from the Ashes. And it can also be hit off of... I'm going to take this. Gundrum, Tuna, and Gunners. Thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. Happy Karn Day. Oh, man. So, we took Clutches. Now do we just take Muldrotha? And we can just keep casting Karn and Embolus's Clutches? Did our, just, did our deck just get super sweet? This is the best deck I've ever drafted. Gunners, thank you again, buddy. This has been great. 
What a day. What a day. What a glorious day. All right, so this pack has been Muldrotha, Karn, Inbolus's Clutches, Song of Fraley's. It's pretty good. I want to take this Crossan Druid because that is a dude I like having in a deck. How many Garnas have we seen? Oh, yeah, we also... Well, no, I was just talking about in this pack alone. We also have Weatherlight as a bomb, sure. I also think Territorial Allosaur is pretty bomby, and so is Sylvan Awakening. This deck has a, a pretty high power level. I'm just going to take Arcanist. Because, look at this curve, too. I had it all messed up because I had these at 5. I had this at this guy at 7. This Some guys at 6. I'm going to take Arcanist. Oh, actually, we're not blue, but we're not any of these colors. So I guess it's Soothsayer if that's the case. I forgot we weren't blue for a second because we had these guys. I had to explain why before I cheered at the computer screen. <laughs> oh my god. My kids are going to be like, Dad, what were you doing when you opened that car? And I'm going to be like, well, son, sit down. Let me tell you a story. So this on this stream today, I think I want a second land or scout before I want. To, uh this guy's actually good. I spent up almond milk when Karn showed up. Fantastic! My cat just went nuts when you guys freaked out. Grats on Karn! Now go open it. Uh, that's what. That's the goal. I feel like once you once you once you get one, the the rest just come right. Vukerlis, thank you so much for the Karn hype. Appreciate it. I'm gonna take this Guardians. Guardians actually seems pretty good in this deck because we can like uh, it it hits off Weatherlight, but we can also it's an artifact that we can play off Moldrotha as a permanent. That's our artifact. This came back. Sap herd in the next pack. Give me bring that sap herd back. Dang it, no sap herds. Wow, that's still insane though. I'll still play it. I mean. It's still a 2-2 two -two for 2 at worst, and it makes our uh, our migration better. This deck looks nuts, dude. I wouldn't be surprised Gabby opened three cards in three drafts. She's whitelisted for sure. Wow, I was all set to make like... I was also to make a thumbnail. Actually, I didn't have a thumbnail in mind. I'll, I, I I was thinking of the last the last uh, video. All right, we have to cut four cards, three cards. I like the double grow from the ashes a lot now. How many drafts did it take? Close to fifty, probably more than fifty. Fifty three ish, I would say. Cut some of that white junk? How dare you. We can probably cut one sergeant. We also have Tetsuko in the sideboard now that we are splashing blue cards. Magic's doing that really weird thing where it doesn't let me zoom in on stuff, so apologies for that. I don't like Llanowar Scout. This is 11 creatures, but we also have Weatherlight, Inbolus's Clutches, and Call the Cavalry, and Sapperling Migration, so it's more like 14 creatures. Yeah, we can probably cut the Karn. It just doesn't... We don't have any real artifact synergies. Nah, JK. I don't even want to joke about that because then I'll forget to put it back in. Cut the splashes in the Guardians. No. I'm not going to do that. Big Pokey, thank you so much for the bits and for, for tuning in for the first time. I think we can cut one sergeant. Alright, one more cut. I think this is... I think we're getting there. 
<laughs> Give me an A. How come you guys aren't giving elk tears A's and R's and, and N's? Yeah, these splashes are too strong. Plus, with double girth from the ashes, it's not even worth cutting. Maybe sword might be weak. I'm actually, but it, it does get hit by weatherlight. How many cards get hit by weatherlight in this deck? I think it's actually a, a decent amount. Eight hits off of weatherlight. That's pretty good. Yeah, this deck looks, this deck looks sweet. Gift? What was gift? Oh, gift of growth. I like having a trick. Gunners, thank you so much for the bits. Josh, thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> this is like, man, Karn Hype City. This 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 draft went off the rails. This is great. All right, let's see what we got. One black is fine. Two blue is actually fine. We can just search for all of those things. And then I like eight six. The only problem I see is Baird, but I think Baird is strong enough to not really worry about it. So eight, nine, ten, eleven plus six. I might actually want to go eighteen lands here. I think this could be an 18 land deck. I think the card quality in this deck is... Yeah, I think I'm going to run 41, but I'm going to do it with 18 lands, which is pretty unconventional. For me, especially. So, we'll see. I've also been backing up from the mic when I chew these these raisins, which are naturally naturally quieter anyway. They're, they're lower snacks, lower audible snacks, um, just to make sure people aren't super, super weirded out by me eating raisins on stream. Can you put a fake mic ice cream cone on the mic gif? Wow, that sounds hilarious, actually. I would be a fan of that. I was playing at a sealed PBT this weekend, and a guy I checked had a Maldrothus Slimefoot and Tatio. That's a pretty good, uh, that's a nice little Sultai package there. I don't like Memorial. Is it three or five? It's top five? Yeah. Because then you end up putting like Karn and Weatherlight in the bottom, and it's just. I think this hand's actually fine. It's a little slower, but any land puts us in good shape because we can get a blue black or we can get a white. And then we have Territorial Allosaur or Baird mana, so. This deck looks sweet. I don't even want to put the Karn as the thumbnail because I don't want to give it away. Oh, that was the perfect draw. Just beautiful. Can you kick Territorial Allosaur from the graveyard if you have Muldrotha out? Yeah, we're going to wait for five for Girl from the Ashes so we can get a black and a blue. Well, yeah, that's pretty sick. So if we can we can actually just play Territorial Allosaur. Thanks so much, you two. Do, 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 do. Actually, do you just play Baird and then Girl from the Ashes and then Territorial Allosaur? Let's do that. Allosaur is big, especially against the green-red deck, but... Um, we're only waiting one turn. Like, we're skipping one turn. Eh, that's fine. And being able to just kill this guy. Oh, wow. That's actually amazing. <laughs> Get double blue now. Just just don't mind me getting my Inbolus' clutches, mana. And we have the triple green for the Allosaur as well. Okay. Well... Hi, Frank. Big fan. Good luck. And then I should just be like, Karn. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay. Well, it seems it's a weird thing to say, but all right. Unfortunately, Girl from the Ashes. 
18 lands with two grow from the ashes means we have like 20 cards in our deck that are just lands. Which means the rest of the cards have to be very strong. Oh, wow. I'll block here. If you want to, like, gift, gift, gift of growth this guy, that's totally fine. Sure. Yeah, even if we double blocked, we wouldn't be able to kill that guy. Actually, can we gift of growth here instead? One, two, three, four, five. We would be one shy if we gifted. So I'll just steal this guy. Dr. Funkenberger, why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> you know, I mean, I marry that. I'm gonna marry that con. Marry him anyway. This is how we lose. I spoke too soon. My god. This deck is bonkers. So next turn we can go uh Pegasus Courser and Baird if we if we grow from the ashes. We add one, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, we're one shy. Wow, coming at me, huh? Yeah, do that. I'll double block. Um, I think it's fine if they do that. We just have Allosaurus for days. Like, we're just going to play Pegasus. Oh, no attacks. I like it. I like it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, that's pretty good. Wow, Crossan Druid time after time. That's pretty insane. I almost just want to grow here. Oh, also kicks this guy? That's pretty good. It might be Crossan Druid time. But I like growing and then Pegasusing. I think that's actually safer. Three cards in hand. If your life falls, he will catch you. He'll be waiting. Time after time. Time after time. So we have five mana. It's just bared, or is it? It's got to be coarser so we can start getting some damage there, right? Yeah, we'll coarser here. On the bright side, if, if either one of these dies, we can get either one of them back, which is pretty insane. That's not going to do it. Elk Tears, tell me. Tell me what you're going to say, buddy. Homeboy has reach. You're right. I would have forgotten that. I'm not good at Magic the Gathering. I literally forget that every single time. What we can do is attack with Halar. And then just Imbolus's clutches the Multani next turn. We could also invoke our own Imbolus' clutches. All right, I guess we just have to go to the next game because that was... Oh, boy. Oh, boy.
Time after time. Time after time. They didn't see the car or the weather light. Ha 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 ha. Q, 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 Q. Is this a new standard? <laughs> oh, man. Have to mulligan every game. Yeah. All right. I'll keep that on top, and then we can uh, grow from the ashes on three at least. We got a seal away, that's just, which is good for Multani. Also have this Karn that they didn't even see. Ugh. Low key Sultai deck splashing white. Yeah. Because I've got one Karn in my pocket, and the other one is. Playing the piano. That's from Alanis Morissette. You guys know Alanis Morissette? She's Canadian. If they play a guy every turn, I can see us being in awkward, awkward situation land. Do we just grow from the ashes here? I don't really feel like it's smart to wait. But I also don't like using it on... Uh, Actually, if we if we hit a land, we have to do this. If we hit a land, we can play Guardians next turn. Okay. It's not terrible, but it doesn't give us anything to do. Like if we Karn for six, he just dies. We can Karn make a guy block. He goes to to one, which is not impressive. I'm actually tempted to put in uh, the Llanowar one the one three guy just because it blocks very well against these guys. You can't replay Grow with Mul Mul with Muldoth. That's not a permanent type. This is aggressive. Yeah, that's pretty aggressive. All right, I think we just died. This 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 game was rough. Um, actually, Karn makes a 2-2. Two -two, which doesn't crew the weather light, unfortunately, but... Whatever. We're not dead, so... <laughs> wow, they said. <laughs> My board is weather light Karn. That yeah, seems good. I mean, we can at least chump block here. Our power level is high enough that I don't feel like it's that bad. Oh, both at me, huh? Alright. I'll block here. I mean, if they have a pump, they have a pump. If it's Gift of Growth, they could kill us anyway. Yeah, we were dead anyway, so that's fine. Um, Yeah, I'm actually tempted to bring in one of these guys, just because the, the land ability is useful. I don't think we actually care about Jousting Lance, to be quite honest. I think I'd rather just have another 1-3. Wouldn't we seal away the... I mean, we didn't have mana, so we're not sealing away anything. But if we sealed away something, I feel like we'd seal away the 4-4, not the 2-2. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Memorial. I don't think it's very good. That's why no Memorial. I, I've seen way too many people whiff off of it, and like having the land come into play tap just doesn't seem good. I could see cutting Awakening, but it does. It's it's the thing about Awakening is that it helps us survive a turn because it's until the end of your turn. Or end of their turn. I can actually see bringing in Sergeant over over the other Awakening just because... Or rather, bring in the other Sergeant over the Awakening because it's a 2-3. So it blocks favorably. And it's another early game card. I'll keep this hand because of the grow again. And I think it gets real good if we can hit one land. did it. Alright. 
It seems good. So I think we can... It depends on what we hit, I guess. And we do have 18 lands. Like, we theoretically should not have a problem hitting lands here. I'll take two. I mean, we've seen two Gift of Growth that we know about, so... Whoa, that's interesting. I'm just going to get an island here. Actually, I'm not going to attack, because if they want to attack, I'm going to force them to Gift of Growth. Because if they Gift of Growth, they're probably not playing a different, another creature. They're probably just going to play Rampaging. Sure, that's good. But now they can't attack, so... Invoke off the top would be sick, but also a land would be sick. So Invoke or Land is really what we're going for here. Land is good. I think we get black and blue. Let's get black and blue. Never didn't have perfect mana. I mean, this is a pretty brutal attack, but we get to play Imbolus's Clutches on something, so... And they all have Vigilance, so... And what it all comes down to, my friends. Yeah. Is that everything is gonna be fine, fine, fine? Because a Lannis set in my pocket, and the other one is playing the piano. I'm gonna block here. If you want to kick this guy, you probably do. It's got tramp. Oh wow, that is impressive. A land there would have been great, but... Yeah, we're a little low on white mana here, but next turn we can go Weatherlight into Baird. Or Weatherlight into Shauna. Shauna na na na. I feel like we are actually... I feel like our deck is good, but it's not synergistic enough, so we're actually just losing to all of the... Uh... I want to block here. If you have a pump spell, which I assume you always do... Then it's going to die anyway. But if you don't, then we get to keep 4-4, four, four, so. If you have Gift, you can put us to 2. Alright, well, put us to 2, I guess. It's not nothing. Not a big fan of this, uh... So, 1-2, Shauna... I'm pretty sure we're just dead here, but... Like, I'm sure they have Wizards Lightning and they're just going to kill us, but... Yeah, I don't think this is a 3-0 deck. It's really weird because our, our, power, our cards are super powerful, but they're slow. Our deck is slow. Yeah, obviously. Never didn't have it. I mean, we can't beat the, like, guy, Gift of Growth, Song of the Dryad, Gift of Growth, Gift of Growth, Gift of Growth, Wizard's Lightning deck is really the problem, so. I mean, I guess if we have to play against more decks that are not as uh, streamlined, we'll probably do fine, but. Uh, we have no way to get more Sapperling tokens, otherwise they would all be in the deck. Uh, I do think this set is very slow, yes. I don't think this is a, 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 a fast format by any means. I mean, it doesn't mean you can't... It doesn't mean you can dirtle around for ten turns, but it's not going to be like one drop, two drop, three drop, kill you. Like, you definitely want to play things proactively and, and establish a board, but... It's not like Zendikar or anything, so...
Buddhist style, no worries, man. Good games. Also, there's always the frustration where your opponent's like, wow, your deck looks insane. I'm terrified of it. Kill you. Because uh, then you're just like, but you have everything you need to kill me. I don't understand what's terrifying about you winning the game. So there's always that moment where you're just like, well, but you said it. What's, what's terrifying about winning? I don't understand. So there's always that. But either way, no, 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 no hard feelings. Good games, buddy. Eighteen lands. Let's see if we can hit our third draft. It only took three million drafts. That is correct, Silver Falcon. It only took three million drafts. So now in the next like four drafts video, there'll be two more Karns. That's my that's my humble estimation. But of course I have my doubts. <clears throat> Oh, we did it. We're doing very well with these these lands off the top we're doing. Did you guys hear about Karn? Damn, boy, he thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. You should have called Mike to deliver the now. <laughs> Mike hasn't actually been here for that many Dominaria drafts, so Why do I have this song stuck in my head? On the bright side, we did get a Karn. That is very true. Hopefully we don't like 03 or 12 with a Karn in our deck. Our deck is very powerful, but um, for some reason we struggle with consistency. I mean, not for some reason. We're playing four colors, uh, one of which is double blue. So, But, I mean, we also have two grows and a song, so I feel like we have ways to... That's interesting. This seems like the perfect time to just play Karn, right? Also, Song of Fraley's and Karn's negative ability. <laughs> seems good. <laughs> oh, boy. What did we get revealed here? A grow and a seal away. They're going to give us the grow, I imagine. Got him. Oh, look, they gave us the grow. I'm not going to attack here because the higher Karn is, the better. Wait till they see our song, Weatherlight Hand. Oh, uh, I wouldn't say the run bat is over. We just lost round one. And we did, it's only one Karn out of 50, 55-ish drafts, so let's not, let's not raise the celebratory flags just yet. But, um, yeah, feels decent at least. Okay, that was pretty good. Because now we can actually go Song. Actually, I guess we see what we draw first, right? Or we can just take our seal away back. Are we are we afraid of a little bit? We are a little bit afraid of syncopate for one. I think. Can we play around that? Maybe. I like song and a call as well, but I am afraid of the syn the syncopate for one when they have five cards in hand. I would rather go Song than Trapper because at least that lets us keep up a mana for Syncopate.
I actually have a lot of options here. It's interesting. I guess we'll Karn here. See what we hit. I ate an edible to celebrate you opening a Karn. I think this may have been a bad... <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, we get a land. They're not going to give us that swamp. <laughs> They're like, here you go. Seems good. All right. We could also just play Call by itself, which I think is fine. I like that a lot, actually. That gets around all the things. I'm going to attack here. If they want to trade with Academy Drake, it just makes our Karn better. Yeah, I had a feeling at the moment I want to do that. I definitely assume they have Syncopate. That is our only black source, so we definitely have to keep Karn alive to get that. We also have Song of Fraley's, though, so... Oh, going to the face. I'm intrigued. Is this where they go, Embolus's Clutches, Steal Your Karn? Because that's pretty good if they do that. I would not be... I would not be thrilled with that. Okay, that's actually fine. Discard Forest and Grow, I would imagine. One, two. So. Let's grab this swamp. Place song. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four. So we have seven mana. We can grow for five to net two, and then we can play trapper after that. Yeah, we can play Moldrotha here. That's definitely an option. Why don't they attack for attack a Karn? That seems interesting. We can also just play Weatherlight and Trapper. Seven mana, huh? I almost just want to resolve the Moldrotha, but how does donations through PayPal work? Um. Uh, it depends on how you how you do it, because uh, it depends on how you set it up. I think a lot of times they go through immediately. Sometimes it's an e check. Sometimes it's credit card. Uh, I think it actually just depends on the person. Do we just play little Drontha here? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I do like the fact that they're tapped out playing Moldralta. One, we had seven mana. We could have played five. We'd have two left over. We net two. So we could have actually played Grow and Weatherlight as well. I don't like trading Knight for Skittering Surveyor, especially with Song going off in a few turns. So. Play the Moldrifter? I don't think we had one of those. She's got the look. Time to just make a Karn boy. Is that better than... No, I think we're just going to reveal. What did we hit? Sapling Migration Sergeant. Oh, Island Plains. They'll give us Plains. They give us Island? Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they just concede the game. Seems good. We didn't even get to show them the weather light. Our deck is sweet, by the way. Boom, 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 boom. Come on over. This is a song i wrote about having a sweet deck in magic the gathering hubris is a dangerous thing i already owe one where's my hubris <laughs> i already lost man
this again this seems capable if we can hit a land it seems great if we can hit two lands heavy does lie the oh that's a dude heavy is the head that where's the now nah, that's the actual that's the actual quote i can't even mess it up correctly gas look at this hand <laughs> this is a limited hand if i ever saw one are you ever going to get competitive again um i don't know maybe i just have more fun doing this i had more fun playing battle bond this weekend with my friend robert illusions donate gg uh, I had more fun playing in Battle Bond events on Saturday and Sunday than I have in any GP I've ever been to, in any Pro Tour I've ever been to. Like that, those kind of events where I can just play for like three, four hours, have a blast, play with fun cards, and then go home and watch some episodes of Mad Men or something. Like that's that's a cool day. I just named that show because I'm rewatching Mad Men right now. But um, yeah, like that's more enjoyable to me than like the exhaustion of preparing for events for weeks on end and um you know picking a deck at the last minute and you know all the all the the rigor that comes with being that competitive just the value is not there for me oh 50 frankersies is it frankersy or frankers i don't i think it's frankersy but either way Winning and doing great does feel great, but you have to consider that you do that less frequently than losing. So I'm actually tempted to block here because we have Muldratha and I don't like our deck. If we stay alive, we win is, is really my thought on that. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. You can have this. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay. Okay. This is how we're doing it. This is a limited match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Sylvan Awakening in a Plains. Actually, I was hoping you'd give me the Plains. This is this is unreal. Um, I'll give you Memorial. Did opponent open Karn? Yeah, they also did. All right, Memorial gone. Now you're hitting that Karn. Karn is on seven. Salbum. So what we can do is we can we want we want two green, but we also want blue black I guess we'll see what we hit here oh they're going to give us planes which is unfortunate because that's the land we want the least we do have a, a, Sylvan, a Sylvan Awakening waiting in the wings for us though um, We can't kick Grow into Seal because that would require us to get a another planes, which we're definitely not doing. I would rather just play Call here, which makes our song much stronger next turn. What kind of world do I make?
Oh, now you're going at the Karn boy. There's a, there's a Snapperino. I'll assume that's the island you played. So. Yeah, that's a real, I guess. <laughs> Give me the planes again. Yep. <laughs> Boy. This is a lot of planes, my friends. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we can play Moldrotha here, actually. That's pretty good. They could also get their blink and then bounce our Moldrotha, which is pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie. We could also just play Allosaur and then keep up Seal Away, but that doesn't deal with this guy. Um, our Karn just dies if we actually do that. That's pretty stupid. <sighs> our deck is gas. The problem is actually playing the spells before we just lose. You have two East checks on the way. I have to go. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Mr. Rogers, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support, dude. That is amazing. That is a good amount of donations, dude. Thank you so much. That is way, way, way more than I would have ever expected. My stupid roommate didn't pay rent. I'm going to burn this place to the ground. Wow, that's... Um, yeah. Get a green and a... This is only black card, but we do have another blue card in the deck. Alright, we'll do this. And we get to block and keep up seal, which is not bad. All right, well, that's cool. Never didn't have that is really what happens there. That's really hard to deal with. Yep, no blocks. Oh, we do get to, yeah, we get to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's interesting. We do get to Muldrotha. That's that's a good point. Hmm, that is a thing, isn't it? All right, that's fascinating. This is certainly a lot of lands. I'm always tempted to Guardians and bounce this because I'm not ready for it yet. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Karn just dies again to this guy. This guy's really problematic. I guess that's true. I guess it just dies, but we don't really care. And there's also no point to bounce song either. These are all good points. There's a lot of intricacies in this deck that I'm not... Well, we can't play two creatures. We only have one creature that we can actually cast. I guess we can play Muldrotha Trapper. Tap down this guy with Jousting Lance. One, two, five, six. One, two, three. But then we don't have enough mana to actually attack. I kind of want to actually get rid of the Sapperling. Hmm. 
Well, draw thin to Karn and a creature doesn't work, though, right? Like... Bouncing your own guy. It's even better. I like no blocks here. We can't seal away the snapper ever. That is not how that works. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have sealed it away way sooner. Snappy Boy with Flight is really good. I mean, we have an Invoke in our deck, oh, which would be nice to see. Muldroth is also very, very powerful. We also know they have Academy Drake in hand. How do we even... We have we have ways to deal with it. We also have Life Gain, which is an option. Caligo Skin Witch. But you don't have a second black. Um, put this in your hand. That seems less likely. She's got the look. Do you guys know she's got the look? What kind of world is this? Oh, man. All right. Big Snappy. The snappiest boy. Sometimes I'm just a snappy boy. Oh, snappy boy, snappy boy. What are they feeding you? Spore crown talb. That's cute. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So we can go Muldrotha, play replay song. Which is actually pretty insane because all these guys have uh, vigilance. So let's do that. Attack all at Karn here. I imagine Karn dies. One, two, three. So we have four mana, so I'm actually just going to go one, two. Play a Spork around Thalid. And we're actually going to queue up Seal Away for this. For this Academy Drake. Oh, Drake. Oh. Nope, you're kicking that guy, huh? Okay. That's actually fine because now, I mean, we can still play it from the graveyard. So, meh. What can you do? I mean, we take, we take nine in the air, which is a lot. But it's not lethal. And we can play around a lot of things. Results. Actually, can we just get Sylvan Awakening here? No, we'd have to get... We have to get... Um, it'd have to take a turn, right? One, two, three, four. 
wonder if we, we can actually just get the weather light here, and that's actually pretty good. I feel like we're in good shape. Weatherlight doesn't block turtle forever. It's a four or five. Turtle's a five six. So, I mean, it does if we actually get Song of Frailies to resolve, but that's not going to happen because we. I thought we were dead this game, and then our deck was like, "Nah, I got you, bro." Oh, we can play. Oh, we can play it forever. Yeah, definitely. Which is totally fine, actually. Even if we get, even if we get to resolve a Karn and uh, not resolve a oh, all right, that'll do. That'll do, I guess. Our deck is insane, um, and uh, good times. Our opponent opened a Karn though, so two Karns, one one match. Oh, I will play first. I will keep this hand. It doesn't do much, but it's got potential. And our deck is really high. Our, our deck is really high power level. Hi. <sighs> hmm, okay. Oh, uh, hold on. Okay. Did we open Karn has been updated? Oh, wow. I think we do one into the other. I think that's fine. So we're going to get a black and a blue with one of them. So I think we're just getting a green with this one. And then next turn we can go grow for two. Look at this guy. Look at this gentleman. All right. That's enough lands and enough grows. Black island. How many lands do we need to just kill them with uh, Sylvan Awakening? Costs three. Thanks. They're at 20, so 13 lands. We can do that. Karakong, thank you so much for six months in a row. Will you be my crazy Mitch? Always, buddy. Always. I would like at least one creature to block this guy. That What the heck? That's not, that's not a creature. I don't know if you knew that magic. Like, we take seven and then seven again? What in the earth? This is how we lose this draft. Well, they couldn't deal with X2s. Karn opening celebration. For, well, thank you so much, Zarky. Really appreciate it. <laughs> nice. I'm actually tempted to just play this and uh, attack with three of them. That feels better than not doing anything. Actually, what land don't we need? Um, we can keep a planes back. Oh, we didn't keep anything back. Okay, well, that was terrible. That was really confusing the way that was lined up. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, which ones are attacking? There's like four different tiers of... Anyway. We do have Invoke here, so we have at least three turns. I, I'm just going to assume we're not going to draw a land. But what the hell is going on? Double Gaia's Protector? That's intriguing. <laughs> Alright, we did it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have enough mana to keep up uh, Lance or equip the Lance. Two, one, 
two, three. Why are these lands laid out like this? Just stop it. It's actually the perfect card. Now we go block block four two, block four two, block three one. All right. Remember that time you kicked your gift of growth and played it on the enemy grun? I do. That was a good time. Except for less less good. What are you doing here? Rapid flame, kill me. Okay, a Warhawk. Andy Warhawk. Maybe kicking the enemy grunt was the way to summon Karn. Maybe you're right. Magic gods are smiling on me. Today is the day. I have never seen anyone play a guy as Protector Unlimited, so. Frank, I gotta be honest, opening this card was such a big deal that I think you need to celebrate it. I think you should do a double stream today when Mike B gets off work and you guys gotta eat hungry how he's a lot. I just want to be clear that the day we the day we draft the Karn, our first match we lose, our second match we play against the Karn, and our third match we play against the Lyra. And uh Fighter Dinosaur Sapperling Migration. You got that good migration. I guess we're not dead yet. Much as it feels like we are. Also, three colors, and this is double white. Which one of these is your splash colors? Because neither of these cards. I really we can, we have Embolus's clutches. We have Territorial Allosaur. I get one turn, I guess, unless they have Gift of Growth in hand. Lyra flies. Yes, the angel flies. In Bolus's Clutches, Territorial Allosaur, what else can we draw? Planes. <laughs> Guardians doesn't do it. Alright, well. Weatherlight would have done it for a turn, I guess. Man. My kingdom for a for a pierce the sky. We have like nothing. <laughs> oh, was your Lyra flies question mark your way of telling me I lost the game? <laughs> like, uh, Lyra flies? I don't know. That's a weird way to state that, but. You cannot bounce a seal away with the Guardians. That is not a historic card. Arbor Arborment's only good if you have a 5-5 five five that can block their 5-5, five because five, then it becomes a 6-6. Six six. Otherwise, uh... I mean, it's just weird to be passive-aggressive when you're wrong. That's the funny part. <laughs> That's just like... I don't know. Maybe get that chip off your shoulder. Uh, also, no offense. I know you're... I know you're regular, so it's fine, but it's just a weird way to say things. Uh, I will play first. 
Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. We have a good time. We have a good time. I feel like our wins have been struggles. Uh, I feel like we also have a hard time either drawing just the right amount of land. I feel like we either draw too many land. Well, a huge fan. Lyra flies. I don't think you can stop her. Huge fan. Huge fan. Thank you. I'm not going to kick this yet. We can wait one turn for our grow, and then we can go Karn. Lyra. Unbelievable. All right, no two drop is good for us. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's never easy, guys. It's never easy. I mean, it's hard to complain because the donations and the and the opens were very good in this draft, but on the other hand, like our deck seems insane. At the very least, it seems super fun and uh, I don't understand. I just want to hit a third land. Thank you. Thank you. I kind of want to grow here, but I don't... I really I kind of don't want to grow as well. Never easy, always... It always uh, yeah, never easy, always greedy is definitely the, the mantra of this deck. The problem is, like, being able to play in Bullis... I think we actually have to wait. I don't think it's greedy, actually. I think, I think growing now is greedy, because... Um, we really need to hit a double blue off of Grow. But that's actually fine. None of these cards are super scary. Yep. Yeah, now we have to grow. We don't have a choice. Uh, get an island. You just found never played magic before, and I think you're a genius and very personal. Funny, but my God, do I despise you in your sinful ways? Appreciate it. Kind words, kind words, Druposhi. Kind, kind words. First strike. Well, I'm very uncomfortable by everything that's happening. No, no you don't want to come here with the two one. Um. Yeah, this guy's just better, right? Sure, I'll trade a two two for your. 2-2. Two, two, or 3-2 two for your 2-2. Two, two. I got them good vibrations. God, we sure do draw a lot of planes, don't we? Kerwit, four Karn bucks. Is that one for each for each mana cost? For each mana in the, in the converted mana cost? Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. What up, beer man, man? Smash to smithereens. Shiv and fire. <laughs> oh, of course. Like you do. Well, this deck seemed insane, and uh, even on power level it seemed insane, but here we are. Four, five, six, seven. Play Karn, draw a card. I mean, even if this wasn't in our hand, like, I guess Invoke could have come out in the sideboarding phase for like a 1-3. I don't know. I thought you were here. I thought you saw it happen. I guess I was mistaken. One, two, three, four. Carnums. Ringling Brothers and Carnum and Bailey Circus. All right, so you're going to give us a planes. Like you do. Sigh. We're going to draw territorial Allosaur, so it's okay. Ter Sorry, yeah, Sylvan Awakening is definitely kind of a fog, but I'm pretty sure we're kind of dead here anyway, Thank so. You. 
CTB, thank you for the thank you for the sub, even though you're passive aggressive, you you dummy. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, they're just going face, cause put me to one. And wizards lightning me? No. No. Another planes. This guy is trample? That's frustrating. All right, give me a forest, I guess. You got those good vibrations. Huge fan. I'm great for helping you cool off on those hot summer days. Oh, I like a. That's nice. I like a good fan. I can actually see the argument for making a. Making a construct there, but I don't think this game is going to be close. Okay. Seems fine. All right, we've gained ourselves a turn. To do nothing. Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. It's three blockers. One, two, three, but this guy's big. So we can actually make a construct to keep this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're one mana shy of actually killing our own construct for the four life. So right now we have to block three things. <sighs> man, oh man, oh man, oh man. We could get Spore Crown Thalad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do that. I mean, if nothing else, these games have given us a lot of decisions to make. Cried a river and drown the whole world. Although she looks so sad in photographs. XC Blaze, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. This draft has been a roller coaster of emotions. While I assume we're dead here, um, I think we had a good time. I think it was a good run. And we did open Carn Boy, and we got to cast him in a lot of matches. If you're playing things like Lana War Elf, I'm not so convinced we're dead. I, we're, we are on the most borrowed time ever right now. How is this real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from the Karn tree. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Look up to the carn and see. I'm just a boner. I need no burp, burp, burp. What if we draw Swamp and we rip Moldrotha back? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have four mana. Oh, God. Oh, you're going to kick something. So we're basically just dead from this guy. Well, we had a fun time. <sighs> Not a single artifact or enchantment on the board. Zero prizes to be won, but we got a Karn, so that's cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Really wish that draft went better because our deck was probably the coolest draft. It's probably the coolest deck we've ever played, so going 1-2 is pretty unfortunate, uh, especially against the Gaia's Protector deck. And, uh, yeah. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time. Check me out on Patreon. Link's in the description. Thanks for watching.